Welcome back. No music. Dramatic music all of a sudden. Jeez. Welcome back to me. Yeah, but it's Darkest Fairy. The music decided to get a lot more exciting all of a sudden. No, because of the giant boss that was marked on our map for some reason. We haven't fought any bosses yet, have we? How do you even get up here? Like, all the climbing you had to do up here. Oh, you look like a giant fruit. You wanna, like, draw your weapons, dude? There we go. These sounds. Let's make all these watery sounds. These are strangely watery sounds. I don't know what they're doing right now. I don't know who's doing what where. Stop that. I hit a little something that was coming out of the ground, I guess. Ow. There's a jumping monster. I was trying to face him as I attacked. It would be a lot more help, I think, if I did. Know what happened? Stop that! <laughs> Hang a tentacle makes this thing appear. It makes something fall from the ceiling, which for some reason the jumping then attacks. I don't really know what the idea is there. Hey! Don't interrupt my combos. He attacks that thing, I guess. Do they? What are you doing? Why did the tingles make the sound? Yeah, I know. Look out. That thing has such a long reach. So much longer than I expect. I don't know if bosses can be hit by status elements or not, so I don't know if it's worth trying to use a mode on this guy. I guess each time we have to... I hear a lot of tentacles. I don't know why the sounds they do. They're somewhere, I don't know where, and they are so loud. These are the loudest tentacles. They have so much knockback, it's kind of silly. Stop that! I mean, help if I can actually see you. Stop that. Sorry, I don't get stunned. How, how does it tend to dodge? You actually jump back. Why do you have such, such quick attacks? I have quick attacks too. Yeah, I have a feeling it was probably pretty angry already. There we go. I just got an item for that too. Well, these fruits look kind of rotten, which is unfortunate. It'd be nice to have. Nice. I, I appreciate your confidence in me. Although me getting hit by its head attack every single time probably didn't help your confidence either. Okay, sure. H how did I not find that tunnel? Can't do anything with that for some reason. So I got some kind of item. Was it a starberry? No, I think I had a starberry. I think I just got a chocolate from there or something silly like that, or a uh, chubby rather. Whatever. Just skipping inventory things. Curious what that last thing is on the bottom. Music can calm down now. Let me out! Things are still making sound in here. And just for completeness. 
Okay. Oh, this is the... Haha! -ha! I knew something was going to be up here. Ooh. A red egg. It's a much plainer looking egg than the speckled one. Is it? I don't remember which eggs are more rare than others. I remember fish and eggs were extremely valuable, I think, in Mirka Chase. Excuse me? You don't just... <laughs> this is such a rare and valuable thing. I'm going to eat it. You don't eat eggs in Neopaz. Like... <laughs> They can, that you can do that, strictly speaking, but you don't do it. Oh! Hello! Thank you, Sir Max Health. I'm guessing blue and eggs do the same for my magic, then. I don't remember red eggs being a thing, interestingly. That's how I get up here, I guess. Oh, no, this isn't where I thought I was. That was certainly far. Oh, we're on our farm. Okay, interesting. Buy the money. Buy the money grass. And this time, for some reason... I should have made a stop by here last time I was here. Since, for some reason, we can't destroy the mushrooms here. I think we're just going to see a cutscene here. I'm not going to destroy all the corn, in case you're wondering. I moved on to bigger, better things than corn. Just knock down some of it for fun. For old time's sake. The game apparently can't handle the corn, though. Can you guys wait for a minute? I want to go get that treasure. There's a treasure out here I want first. If you don't mind. So we saw that... Load. We still haven't found that one, uh... The way to get to that weird-looking area I saw then, but I'm guessing it's just like what happened just now, where it's kind of a door to the past type of thing. It goes from a later area of the game to an earlier area of the game, and it's a one-way route. So I'll probably come back out there later. Uh, I don't even really think I need your... Young items up here right now, honestly. Don't stop me. Tormund's jumpy greed has no bounds. Awesome. Alright, but now then. Go over to that chest real quick and then we'll head on back. Where that chest was. Was somewhere around here, I think? Yeah. It just says proper mode. It doesn't tell you what the mode is, which is kind of annoying. There could be some out of mode stuff. Oh. Cool. One moat for another moat. Cool. I didn't actually co didn't actually cost me anything for the bubble moat. I thought it would cost something. Whatever. Okay, well that's that done. It's only one of three treasures. I don't know where the other one could possibly be. One is probably a treasure map then, but I don't get the impression there are multiple treasure maps. First given area. And now they acknowledge my heroism. Huh, I wonder, she would say the, I wonder if she would say the weed thing if I hadn't actually destroyed her weeds. You would think that quest would still be available if I hadn't done it, actually. Or if I'd never actually gotten the quest from anyone. I don't know. Hmm. Is it a good quest? How many do we have right now? Flower. Which we just have to turn in. We haven't gone to Bright Vale yet. Venom, which I'll probably just have to buy moats and treasure. The place I haven't gotten to yet. So also if it's fairly accessible right now. Unless we just haven't gone to that area yet. I don't remember, is there a stuff like we Come on now. Come on. 
I wonder if I can destroy these. I can destroy most things, I just, just don't want to destroy our family stuff. Anyways, I'm home. Yay, pre rendered cutscene. No, I'll just whack him with him. So brave. I'm so proud of you, son. Wait until I tell everyone. Our own hero. They already heard. I, I can't stay. I've got permission to become a squire. I could become a knight of Meridel one day, and I need you to sign this paper. Is this what you really want to do? More than anything. You've grown up faster than I realized. You'll make a fine squire. My brother's going to be a knight! Write to us, often, and be careful. That's really sudden, no, like, oh, you're planning on, like, leaving home now? We didn't expect you to ever do that. I wonder whose bed is whose. Like, how do you like to have a bed that's just right in front of the front door? It's a pretty big, luxurious place, though, for, uh... Have I already seen this? I do think so, yeah. Pretty big, luxurious place for a little group of farm people. I don't know what it is I'm looking for around here. Just want to see if there's anything else around here. Oh, there's no map here. That's interesting. That's probably the parents. Maybe. Wait, no. Or ours. We have the... It's probably ours, because we have two beds. It's could be like old 20th century television where the parents have separate beds or something. <laughs> Anyways, I guess we can't sneak out with our parents noticing if the parents have a bed right in front of the front door. Anyways. Let's get going. So I don't think we're going to finish the trip back to Meridel this episode. This game really likes having us go on trips. We need fast travel. But... We'll get started right now, at least. And we'll spend a minute on the way there. Just taking the sights that we've seen plenty of times before. But are still fairly nice sights. And I don't... I still don't know what I would do here to find any treasures I haven't already found. I don't know where they could be. Oh, this is Mary Acre. It's funny you mentioned this place once. Oh. I kind of feel like getting distracted here and doing stuff, but I don't know what I would do here. So I don't know where I would look for things I haven't already looked. I thought I looked through this whole place fairly thoroughly. Do you like something more juppies? Not especially right now. I have plenty of... I spent plenty of time getting juppies, as you can see. That extra health is kind of nice. I wonder how many of those there are to find, and how you come across them. Anyways. Off we go. Yeah, see, there's that place up. And then an unreachable place I was thinking about earlier. I guess that's a plant right in front of that door that I can pick up, just like I was able- or something I can pick up right in front of that door. So there's something there. Just like the red egg I found earlier. I just get spit back out here after I finish some of the place. So I have to backtrack my way back out of the area. Alright though. Nice and calm. It is nice to have some calm after going through not much of a gauntlet, but at least just as dangerous of a place as Shadow Glen, or at least as malevolent of a place. It's, the enemies weren't that bad or anything, but they're still annoying enemies trying to kill me the entire time. Take the bridge. Oh, that's kind of weird, but. Huh. It's weird how you get different things if you read from different angles, even though one side tells you who everything is. Anyways, I'm still not going to head on off to the east until later. Not much point to talk to this guy, I don't think. 
But we have some stuff to do once we head back to the castle. So I'll see you guys next time in the next episode. Let's play Neopets Darkest Fairy. We're returning this flower that we got for one. And aside from that, we'll see. And we get yet another leaf moat because we haven't had enough of those yet. Bye everyone.